In the art department, there is Miss Kane, Jill, our technician, and myself, Miss Sterling. We are very proud of our creative, quirky, and thriving art department, and our A-level students often surprise and delight us with their original and fantastic artworks. We would say that the most important qualities required to succeed in art at A-level are passion, engagement, and determination. Also, student voice. It is so important that our students are authentic, exploring issues and ideas that truly inspire and fascinate them, and that each student discovers the artist that is in them. We are here to teach and to guide, but the journey belongs to the student and they are at the wheel. At the start of Year 12, we have students that have studied different things at GCSE, from arts to textiles to DT. We've even had students that haven't studied any kind of art course at GCSE at all. We all start at a beginning point with quite a fast paced structure of workshops. These are skills based, designed to teach different ways of recording, different techniques and processes. They are also designed to draw students out of their comfort zone and to get them used to, to enjoy taking risks. We are often turning the art rooms into cabinets of curiosities, still lives designed to inspire. Alongside these workshops, students receive lectures that develop their knowledge and understanding of art history, but also teach students how to reflect, critique, analyse and respond. This structure acts as if we are throwing out lots of seeds, and different seeds will lodge and grow in the imagination of our students. Students use these workshops to platform off and to start constructing their own personal project. The A-level students are based in the art block, where we have a large art room, a textiles room, dark room and photography studio. We also have an art room upstairs that we use to set up complex and exciting still lives and figure drawing sessions. Students are able to work in the art rooms during study periods, at lunch break and after school, often creating their own working spaces. The workshops incorporate traditional drawing and painting techniques to include oil painting, but also textile processes. At times these are traditional and at times in combination with fine art processes. We also use photography as a vital part of record and combine with screen print, screen print, collagraph and other printing processes. We do feel that we are able to offer an exciting mix of media and processes and when students combine these it engenders a rich, often tactile, experimental approach. Our art students often go on to study a creative course. We currently have students studying fine art at the Ruskin School of Art, Oxford, fine art at Goldsmiths and St Martins, illustration at Falmouth, architecture at Liverpool and Bath. Two students are currently doing a design apprenticeship at Jaguar Land Rover and Rolls-Royce. And it's not just practical art courses that A-Level prepares you for. You can work in conservation, museum, fashion journalism, all forms of television. Again, I could go on and on and on. So, if you want to discover your creative potential to enjoy working hard and to learn how to solve problems with innovative solutions, study art at Rugby High School. Hi, I'm Georgina and I'm looking to study nursing at university after I finish year 13. I chose art as an A-level because I find it really relaxing and it's also really good for expressing your creativity and being able to do something different outside of your academic lessons. Ella, why did you choose art? Um, I actually chose it for quite similar reasons to you. I think I've always been a very creative person, like right from when I was little, I always loved painting and stuff. Um, and I just like the idea of like having a subject that was more of a you know break from my more academic ones because to me personally, I don't really see art as work. I see it as like just something really enjoyable to do and just take my mind away from all the other stresses of school. Uh, this is a piece that I did during lockdown um, with oil paint. Oil paint was something I hadn't even touched prior to coming to RHS and starting a level art. Um, and with the help of Miss Stanley and Miss Kane, I've really like, managed to refine my oil painting techniques. And during our jump from GCSE to A-level, we've really had the chance to refine our skills using different practical techniques such as oil paints, acrylics and watercolours. 
I decided to start refining my work using oil paints and I was really worried about painting faces at first because the thought of it just terrified me. But during lockdown I really had the chance to go through and decide, well why don't I do something that I'm afraid to do. And this piece of work was an outcome of me jumping to do something that I didn't really want to.